my heart with KSI. UK, you know what I mean? Ethnic minorities for life, bro. <laughs> Let's be real about it. Hey, yo. Okay, the chump's in the house, right? So we wanted to do the chump is here and it's been a long time and you know I only talk about boxing when there's something that's happening Special. in the world world of boxing. Yeah. So okay, let's talk about UFC first, yeah? Okay. Nate Diaz, George Masvidal. What a fight. Who it, won? Right, this is the story, yeah. So I'm telling him while I'm telling you. So it was a good fight. Five round fight for the BMF title. The Rock came, Trump came, the big Trump. thing, yeah? Yeah. And what happened was, they stopped the fight on the court in the third round. Fully stopped or just? You only stopped the fight. Yeah, so basically in the third you round, it. so it started off good, built up, like first round, second round, getting better and better. So as soon as it got to the third round, boom. People are like chanting bullshit, bullshit. You know, the crowd's going crazy. So the build up to that event was cool, but it, the ending to it was crap. Now we go to Canelo and Kovalev. That fight it started off slow, but it ended up with a bang. I told you it'd be a knockout. Not to. Did you see that knockout? No, but I knew. I saw it on Instagram. That's not I yeah. told you it'd be a knockout. Yeah. But what round was it? 10. Like that. I think Later. it was eleventh round. You oh. said sixth round. Yeah, I was close. <laughs> you said sixth round. Close enough. Yeah. So Canelo basically comes in, right? And he nails it. And you know, sit over here. Sit over here. So Canelo comes in and then finishes it off. Now there was this issue, wasn't there? So UFC and the Zone they made a deal, and that deal was because the events were on the same day. Right, so the deal was let the UFC fi uh, finish their main event and then the boxing starts their main event. And guess what happens? Ryan Garcia knocks his opponent out in the first round. Now the now the zone they have to wait for the UFC. So then they go to the UFC. Look, right, we're kind of waiting for you to finish your event. We've got nothing to do. So UFC is like, you know what? You can put the pay per view on. On uh, while while you wait, so the people that were there, they had uh, the pay per view on, which is pretty cool. And especially for us, right? Well, I was watching at home, and I was thinking I'm gonna end up channel surfing one here, one there. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's his problem? Right? What's that guy's problem? Oh, no, he was looking at me. Right? Anyway, so they channel surfing. So instead of going Sky Sports, BT Sport, I was like, damn, you know, it's going to be one of those, right? Thankfully, they did this deal where you could watch the UFC event and then watch yeah, the boxing. And it was about 6 o'clock in the morning, 6.30, but it's all good. Now, the second thing. Well, let's go to a World Boxing Super Series. If you want to talk about the fight of the year, I was seeing Errol Spence and Sean Porter, wasn't I? Mm. But watch Inoui. And Donair now, that fight was like no, you know, you know those fights when bang 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 bang, one guy brings it on, the other guy brings it on, yeah. just all out war. That's what it was. And I'm telling you, the World Boxing Super Series is without a doubt the Champions League of boxing. They've built it up. I mean, you've got look what he's done for Usek, Josh Taylor, that uh, you know, which they had that fight about two weeks ago in London. It's producing right uh, big fights. It's producing big, um, big producing good talk around it. And I honestly believe that right, we've got the Champions League of boxing with the World Boxing Super Series and the Muhammad Ali Trophy. So big ups to uh, Kale, the legend. Check that man out. You know who Kale is? No. He's an absolute legend. Check him out, right? It's called Kale Saunders. Yeah, absolute legend. The people who know Kale know what I'm talking about. Now the big news. Your boy, KSI, yeah. versus Logan Paul. Logan Paul. It's going to happen this Saturday, yeah. live, in the USA on Sky Sports box office. 
Who you got? Yes, I. Easy. What round? How many rounds is it if they're going pro? It's 12 rounds. Yeah. yeah. Seven. Knockout, stoppage, TKO, what, what you got? I'm going to stoppage. This is what I think. I think the most dangerous part for KSI is the first three rounds. Because that guy is going to come out strong. Yeah. We saw that in the last fight. He's going to obviously like reserve himself. The only thing he's going to do, mark my word, words, yeah? Just jab right hand. Double jab right hand, yeah. jab left hook right hand, that's the only thing he's going to do. Yeah. He's going to keep it one twos, one two threes, that's it. Mm. KSI right, just needs to constantly move his body, go for his chin for the first couple of rounds and then break his body down yeah. and take him out on the eighth round. And with that, just, <coughs> just move your head and pick your shots, don't just charge into the guy, pick your shots, you know what I mean? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. If he goes in there and goes ooh, 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 like that, he's gonna get knocked out. He's gonna get caught coming in. Yeah. Just take your time. You've got 12 rounds. You've got 30 minutes. It's not like those easy six round fights. Right? Yeah, yeah. And trust me, like right, he, he'll catch him. He'll catch him. And remember that time when we were talking, yeah? And I said to you. Anyway, you remember that time when we were talking about uh, KSI and Logan Paul? Yeah. And I said. And I said to you, who do you think is going to be? He said, Look, uh, KSI, yeah? And then you asked me, mm. and I said to you, KSI, because yeah. the guy's got more passion yeah. for the sport. Like, when you watch him, yeah, he's always talking about boxing, I'm going to fight other pros, I believe I can fight, fight other pros. When the Canelo fight happened, he was there. Yeah. Right? And you know what he I'm said? Not yeah, but you know what he said? He said, look, Logan Paul was supposed to be here. But that guy doesn't care about boxing. He does. Yeah. Remember when I said he's got more passion? Yeah. That's passion. Another thing, they had that press conference. Did you watch it? No, not, not the new one. Watch it, right? He asks Logan Paul, tell me three things about Muhammad Ali. Guess what? Yeah. He couldn't. His face dropped from here to there. Because the guy is a UFC guy. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. He doesn't have that love and respect about for boxing. For him, it's just a story. Yeah. But for that guy, it's not. Yeah. So when it comes to passion, when it comes to mentality, yeah. your boy and I might. I'm being straight with you because of that love he's got for the game. Yeah. That he's gonna knock him. Down. Yeah. And that's my words. Right. He just has to take it easy. Right. Go. Uh, take it easy. Pick your shots. Break his body down and watch when he goes to the deep end, he ain't gonna get out of it. Trust me, you know all that Hollywood talk, right? And you know all that big talk ain't gonna work. Uh, KSI? KSI is gonna knock him out seventh round. I the knockout stop it, stop it, one of those. But I guarantee there'll be a knockdown. That's it then, isn't it? Is that it, yeah? That's We've got okay well my heart's with KSI mm. but obviously we don't know do we but we're supporting our, our boy man mm. UK you know what I mean ethnic minorities for life bro <laughs> let's be real about it anyway good luck to KSI and um, I hope you enjoyed this video of the champ is here we need to talk boxing we haven't been talking boxing for a while make sure you hustle hard keep it real Jesus. Suck his dog.